Hello everybody. This is um, Tuesday, October the 6th and it's 5.09 p.m. I think. Central Standard Time. Okay, I'm a little tired today so if I read a little slow please forgive me. But I've got to share something with you because I am what I would like to call a truther channel. I almost changed my name. I actually thought of it yesterday to change my channel name to something about truth. Always standing for the truth or something. But, but I didn't. Anyway, then here comes this today. It's in Dawn's newsletter. And it's from, it was, I guess, given to, yeah, it's a, it's a word from the Lord. Given to a watchman on the wall, dot, 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 armed and dangerous. Posted. The 5th of October, 2020, 8.55 a.m. I received it at 6.21 a.m. today, the 6th. If your belief remains strong, even while surrounded by life's difficulties, you will continue to experience the untold blessings of God. True happiness comes as you pass the test with belief and receive the victorious crown of life promised to every lover of God. Truth must be spoken. Demand truth be spoken. Cry out for truth. My word is truth. My way of righteousness will guide you in the way I have determined. You must go. Pause. You see, we can't just go on any path we want. The path to destruction is wide and many there be that go in that way. The path to heaven is narrow and you must stay on it. We can't keep going back into the world repenting and then we're straight. Go back into the world and then repenting and then we're straight. Yes, you mess up. Yes, repent. Get back on as soon as you can. Don't make it a lifestyle. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to go out every Friday. That's a lifestyle. You got to choose what path you want to stay on. Okay, now where was I? I have determined, yeah, you must go in the way I have determined. You must go. Do not be alarmed, but expect my, Jasper, I'm reading. Hush. Hush. Remember, you're supposed to go woof. That's a good boy. Do not be alarmed, but expect my goodness to continue to flow. In the midst of calamity, see Jesus. See the risen Lamb. Take heart, though all appears darkness. And he may be talking to those who are going to be left behind, but I'm not sure. I'll keep reading. Rejoice in the goodness of God. Fear not. Remember Goshen. Remember my faithfulness. Remember I am that I am. This sounds like father talking to me. Not to me. I mean, in my opinion, this sounds like father talking. Every gift God freely gives us is good and perfect. Streaming down from the father of lights who shines from the heavens with no hidden shadow or darkness and is never subject to change 
every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful Heavenly Father. Now this sounds like her talking. The Father of our Lord Jesus. Let me say that again. Every spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm has already been lavished upon us as a love gift from our wonderful Heavenly Father, the Father of our Lord Jesus, all because He sees us wrapped into Christ. This is why we celebrate Him with all our hearts. I will be found by those who seek truth. Now this sounds like God talking again. My righteousness will be poured out on those who seek a closer walk with me. Do not despair. Do not look about with a worldly view at what is happening. That is so important. The world will fear and panic and run to the store and stock up this and stock up that. I have enough. And if things happen like the economy crashes, I fully expect to be out of here not long after. The Lord said the darkness will come, or what was it he said? Something will happen and then we will go. Was it the darkness? Now I don't remember. At any rate, I know that what I have can be multiplied to continue to feed me. But I think that will happen after the first fruits rapture or going outside of time, how some people put it. However you put it, we get our glorious body, our glorified body, our spiritual armor, and come back after we get our, we get lessons, we get our instructions. We come back and get to work harvesting the wheat. That's the rest of the people who believe in Jesus or those who might be on the fence about it or maybe they never heard about Jesus. The Lord knows who they are. He knows who to send us to. All right. Uh, where was I? I will be found by those who seek truth. My righteousness will be poured out on those who seek a closer walk with me this meet jesus is telling us her father seek a closer walk with him that's what i've been trying to do people i've been trying to ask you to send those who do fewer emails and the sooner i get done in the evening the more time i have for my intense prayer and sometimes I'll wake up at night and I'll just start praying in the Spirit. I don't know if it's because... Well, somebody, let me tell you this, what happened uh, last week or so. I was with Team Jesus, okay? Grafted in Team Jesus on a live... You know, we do this Google Hangouts thing where... We can talk to each other live. Okay. And she had someone join us one night that uh, has a gift of praying over you. And she'll get a word from the Lord to finish it off or in the middle of it or whatever. So she prayed over Kathy first and then... I said, I I really need prayer because I'm so tired. I feel like I'm just going to have to quit. 
that's how I felt that night, and that's how I feel today, but I don't feel like quitting. I'm just that tired. Well, anyway, she prayed over me, and she said that I was truly an intercessor for the Lord, which means he's hearing my prayers for you. I mean, most of you haven't asked for anything, but the Lord knows. And when I pray in the Spirit, He has He's having me to pray for it. Whatever it is you're needing. And maybe you're not getting healed, but perhaps you're tolerating it better. Or feeling a little stronger. Or perhaps not hurting quite as much. Or perhaps you're getting the money you need. I don't know. Because I don't even know what I'm praying for. And maybe the Lord just wants it that way. Very few people know what they're praying for. And every now and then I'll get a face in my mind. Like I know I'm praying for somebody. A certain somebody that I know. That's from my channel. Or it could be those of you who put your face in on your name. I can see you. Or... Um, Usually it's someone in my life that I can see face, like a relative. But anyway, I wanted to let you know that he has me praying for you. I pray for you every night anyway myself, pleading the blood and all that, spiritual warfare. So, I don't want to quit. So y'all keep praying for me. I know you do. You say you pray for me all the time. I need your prayers because when I have a good day, I take advantage of it, and then the next day I'm paying for it. That's how it is with ME CFS. And I don't like talking about that, but that's just the truth of what I have. He hasn't chosen to heal me, so it, it keeps me humble and it, it keeps me relying on him, truly relying on him. All right, so let me finish this last paragraph. Do not despair. Do not look about with a worldly view at what is happening. Do not look around as if defeat is imminent. It isn't. Greater days are just ahead. Trust in the goodness of your God and expect a blessing, for it will surely come. Oh, how I delight to bless my children. Such joy it gives my heart. Live expecting blessings and my goodness. Regardless, believe for my best. Okay? That's the end of it. God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Oh, that sun makes my dog sneeze. It does, doesn't it, Jasper? Would you like to say hi to everybody? Huh? Would you? Oops, let me pull up the camera so I know if his face is in there. I think he likes to. Would you like to say hi to everybody down there? Huh? Say hi, Jasper. Look. Look up here. Look up. What are you looking down there for? Look up here. Looky. Look what Jasper got yesterday. It was one of Buddy's toys that I had put up, and I finally gave it to him. And he likes it. So he's going to take it and go chew on it. Say bye, Jasper. Say bye. Aww. <laughs> he truly brings me joy, but he truly wears me out. We're still working on potty training. And I guess because I don't, I'm not doing a good enough job. I'm not sure. Well, I don't have grass right outside my front door like I did with Buddy. Training him was so easy. But um, I was better off then. I was healthier, a little bit healthier. So 
It wasn't so hard. So anyway, keep me in your prayers, okay? And I will keep you in mine. So I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, this wonderful message. You keep seeking truth also. Always tell the truth. And ask people to speak the truth to you if you sense they're lying. I'm going to start doing that. I just hate lies. Never hate the liar. Just the lies. Lying. I hate lying. I hate being lied to. Anyway, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over all of us, each and every one of us, and our devices. And um, and our internet connections. And if anybody knows the best place to buy an Apple MacBook Pro battery, I need a new battery. I can't unplug this at all or it will not work. And sometimes I need to go to the kitchen while I'm on with Team Jesus, crafted in Team Jesus. And I don't want to miss any of it. And they'll say, what do you think, Jeannie? And I'll be in there, and this is in here, and I got to run in here, which is not good for me to do, and switch it over from muted to speak, and then answer. Say, I'm sorry, I had to run in the kitchen. I want to take the computer in the kitchen with me if I have to feed my dog or get myself something to eat. Anyway, I need a new battery, and I have the money for it. I just I want to get it with a good deal. You know, it's prudent to do that. So I want to know if anybody is familiar with computers, where you would buy your computer battery. Okay, that's all for now. I love each and every one of you, and I say God bless you. Everybody have a blessed night or blessed day wherever you are right now when you see this video. Bye-bye for now. I will talk to you later.